Yeah. Does how do they how do they come to you? Like where do people? Is it mostly just word? Of, I guess it's just mostly word of mouth now. Or it's pretty for different word of mouth at, at this point. I've got paintings all the way from Boston to Austin, Texas, portraits, and they seem to grow in clusters where somebody will see a painting and they like it and yeah. like to have one. Yeah. And so you get cities that have, you know, bunches of them yeah. out all over the, the eastern seaboard mostly. Oh, is that and nice? He, I, this week, actually, yesterday, I shipped a painting to Georgetown University to the um, medical center up there, which is the um, 16th painting I've done for them. Wow. And there are others in Washington that I've done, and so yeah. it's just, you know, they grow in and these little clusters are like weeds. That's wonderful. I, I'm thinking about that. My, fa my grandfather was in, uh, spent much of his life in the United States, although he lived in Canada quite a while. Hibbert Winslow Hill, he was a pretty famous medical doctor in the early days in the States. And I just wish I had a portrait in, painted in oil of him. It would be really a companion in my house. You know, that's what I would think of it as. A client like his presence here. In a yeah, way that exactly. any photograph c just can't do, you know? Um, so how many times do you have to see a person in order to get finished? How many times? Generally once is enough. Okay. You photograph them? I, I know that there's a very romantic notion of having a, someone sit in a chair for hours and hours yeah. and slave over it, but... My point of view about making a painting is sort of like the early Renaissance, where there there really are pictorial projects. Yes. And so what you want in the end is a picture of a person. It's got to look like them. Yeah. The clothes have got to be right. Yeah. Still life elements have to be right. And yeah. so you're you're using them more as an object, less as a person. I get it. So that if I get them in front of a camera and start moving them around and get them just where I want them. Yes. Then I go, okay. and they see the photographs before I start, so they know where I'm going to go with it. Sure. And then I don't want to see them anymore after that. I until, get it. Until I'm done. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I, I I like that. I had a portrait done a while ago by a young woman who was um learning her craft, and she's going to be good, but she spent all all the time, you know, sitting after sitting, working on me, and she changed that thing all the It finally wound up just a pile of garbage because <laughs> she just got way out into left field and couldn't handle it anymore. <laughs> it's not a, I've, I've been out there in left field so many times I can't tell you. you know, it's paying your dues. It really Fair enough. Requires a, 